project's going to be another two hours. But I wasn't impressed with this project when I thought about it tonight, but I did know, I knew that I had to do a spring scene for Melissa, and that's, I couldn't think of anything Easter, I mean spring. I want to get started on Easter, but, and actually when I thought about it, it was going to be a chick with underneath an umbrella with rain boots on. But then I thought, I don't got time to do the umbrella, so it's always easiest to go with a word. And that's why it says spring. I like to get that line of blue out of there. Ah, maybe not, since I have paint all over my hands. I want these letters to stand out more since they're in white. <sighs> then go on the back side of the letters. Got to do something to keep awake because I could actually go to sleep about right now. It is 10.30, isn't it? Hi, Jane. Hi, Shirley. I'm ready for spring, too. Man, it was 36 degrees today at one time that I was in the car getting the grandkids. And it was like... You know, I want to do, in fact, I need to start that tomorrow. Every day on my social media post, I need to do a love is. And so I'd really like to use those characters. Remember back when we'd get the newspaper and we always clipped out the, that uh, little boy and girl with the love is with all the things and hang them on our wall? My son moved into a house, bought the house, and their youngest son graduated the year that I graduated. And when the lady died, the upstairs was exactly like her kids left it when they moved out. And his sister's walls have all those love is cutouts taped on our wall. I need, next time I go up there, I need to see if he's, I don't think he's cleaned out that room yet. And I need to take, that would be like the ultimate vintage picture. Because I know um, their son who graduated the same year I did has all of his football picture or calendar. You know, remember when we had the school calendars with that? Anyway, the whole thing with the love is thing, I thought, oh, I'm going to go and see if they're trademarked. And I don't, I just want to use the image. I don't want to paint them. I was just going to put them in a little post that said love is because when I get a new package of paintbrushes, I, I always think of things like love is. <laughs> you know, love is a new package of um, paintbrushes. Today there was a, What's my one? Oh, so today it was, I really wish I had my lawn chairs out because I wanted to take a picture of my outdoor thermometer that said 36 degrees and say, love is sitting on the porch in 30 degree weather enjoying the day. Because <laughs> it was, it was, the sun was shining and it felt like a heat wave after having Five and one day it was zero degrees. I don't think we ever got a minus number, but it was um, 
with wind chill it was, but. So I think that'd be cute. Every day, you know how you're supposed to be grateful every day for something? I think it would be cute to have a love is and find something that you love about the day. But then I looked at those characters. You guys, they're naked kids. And I was like, hmm, I can't put that. That's not socially acceptable anymore. Have you noticed that? If you go, they're both naked. How did they get by with that? And she's got little marks. Where is she supposed to have little marks? And I'm just, I'm kind of trying to figure that out today. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Linda. Mary Jane, oh, you need to refresh the link for the class. Yeah, you know what? If you go to your search bar and type in Snowman 2023, it'll always pop up for you. Or Painting of the Month Club, it'll always, you know, you just start it in your search bar. But I'll send them to you, and if you... Um, just remember to type those into the search bar and they'll automatically generate because you've opened them before. Did I go on the right side of those? Oh, I did. I was going to put some little polka dots in there, but I'm not quite sure now. did not go on the right side. I went on the wrong side of that G. That's what I get for doing it backwards. Oh, thank you, Marcia. I don't want to overdo it, but I've been thinking about putting polka dots in the word spring. But I'm going to think about it a moment while I do the... Uh, I went over my flowers again. Because I did them so quickly, it, I started losing them. So, um, some of them anyway. Do it a little bit more fancy. There's still a lot of detail in this. I, I'm, it's like it's hard for me to paint anything anymore without adding the detail. I mean, I want to get in there with my orange and shade and do lines around those daisies and all the things <laughs> oh man it's like you ever have a point where you just want to say i'm done i'm done i'm good and that never happens anymore i just keep adding more and more i'll still be working on this tomorrow i guarantee you Linda, did you paint your Highland cow? I figured you'd be alive. It's like, it's time for rabbits, and I'm doing everything but rabbits. Let's 
create just a little let me let me say just a little bit of shadow to pull these flowers off of them because I really want to keep them white. I don't want it I don't want any bright colors kind of taking over the chick. But the whites really going to be tough to cover up the yellow behind it. Mary Jane, I thought you painted the snowman. I thought you did a really, I really thought you already painted it. No, Marsha, that heater is another thing. It's like, oh, more hours to paint that. And actually, I didn't even think about it, but today would have, eh, we're supposed to get a lot of snow tonight. I don't know what the weather's going to be, but my husband's kind of protesting going out in the garage here lately in zero degree weather. So he's kind of put a hold on, he's got to cut a bottom for it. He needs to roll up some chicken wire for it. And I need to find... So I really think the pastel lights will be good. And I just went to Walmart yesterday and I totally forgot to look for lights. Amy gave me a really good idea to use pastel lights. So actually that's pretty much done. I just have to finish base coating, you know, the top of it. And, which is just a solid color, but all the details pretty much done on them. And then once I sell it, my husband's got to ship it, and that means he has to make a box for it, and that means it's cold out in the garage. And I mean, we have a salamander heater, but yeah, it's... But he is going to have to go out and cut me down some wood because I'm running on scraps, actually. In fact, this is just the back of a door hanger I bought. Oh, you haven't painted your snowman yet? Yeah, you did. Hi, Dusty. Hi, Marianne. Hmm. Okay, now that I got these new flowers, I gotta figure out what colors to paint them. Because then I gotta fill in all the background of the flowers as well. So, I might have to turn this one into a print because I may have so many hours in it. here. Do another purple one down there. I'm still working on the Highland Cow. I worked on it for an hour today, and I think I'm right back where I started from. After I got off that live, I went and went over it again. I need to learn to just let it be. Just like my flowers, I was in such a rush to get them done an hour ago that I'm going to make them over again. Orange blue. I do, I really love that. I think that word spring just really set it off. I like that. My 
paint's getting too chunky and thick on this blue. All I know is tomorrow's Friday. I don't have exercise class. I get to lay in bed. I'm pretty excited about not having to get up at 7.30 in the morning. of the red. I, I like that better with the white. This is why I'm never going to get this done. I'm going to keep changing it up, but I like it shaded with white better than the darker colors. I've been waiting for pastels to come back. I'm ready for spring. and I want to try, and I've never tried it, and I've never seen anybody doing it, but I mean, go and look on YouTube because... I would love to, you know how all those flocked rabbits and things are out now? I want to learn how to paint something so it looks like it's flocked. In fact, I bought these guys. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to do that so that you're stippling in your dark areas and your white areas but somehow there's got to be a way and I want to do that that's my next challenge oh Melissa you broke a tooth ah. is that blue Marsha, I've got a lot of battery-operated ones. I need three to four hundred. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Thank you. It takes a lot of lights to go in that heater to make it really glow at night. So I usually put three to four 100 strand Christmas lights in there. I don't know if they sell that many on a strand in Easter. But that's what I need. I need a lot of lights. Oh, I like the white flowers better now. I would think here. Uh, don't those look prettier? Gosh darn it. Ooh, Teresa, that's a good idea with a sponge. Oh, I never even thought to use a sponge. Thank you. You're right. Wouldn't that be cute to have a tall one and a couple small ones side by side? I know the wreath makers are going a lot, um, 
live from the Dallas market last week, and they were talking about showing all the flocked things. It's going to be really popular. So, got to be a way to incorporate it. Well, now that I went with the white, I gotta get rid of the orange. So, Melissa, I will make you a video because I totally changed the looks of this thing. Hmm. Oh, I think, okay, I got those done. Um, so tomorrow is auction day over in Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, but mine won't be ready. I'll find something to put in it, put in the auction. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff over there. I know if you like chickens, Dusty, who's on here tonight, she has some amazing chickens. You guys would love it. I did chickens in the back of a truck the other day for my project. And I'm not a seasoned painter when it comes to chickens. I used to do a lot of roosters, but I don't. I never painted chickens. I don't know why. Oops, those are too wet to get into. And she's got some cute Valentine buckets over there. So lots of good stuff over on the Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. Those ladies have been filling up the Buy It Now section like crazy. Linda's got a lot of, um, I love that one that she did, that tray with the, it was not a tray, it was a plate charger. It's really pretty. There's lots of really cute stuff. I am going to put all my brown centers back in here, though. I don't know that I've got a lot to choose from for an auction. I don't got any really good handmade stuff at the moment, but I do have some things, you know, like my paint printed, painted on wood. I had my sale the other day over in the marketplace. So I found those purple gingerbread rounds. So I will be listing those in the buy it now section. White's starting to fade into the background. Oh, now I don't want my centers to be that dark since we got all the pastel going on. Let me mix a little bit of brown with some orange. Oh, there we go. Bring those down a little bit. Now my feet are kind of orangey. I'm gonna bring those down a little bit too.
Needs to be pretty big in the centers. And I'll go back and shade every one of those a little bit darker. <laughs> it's a never-ending process. Man, I sure thought this was going to be a 45-minute deal. Oh, well. It's my one painting of the day, so... It's my one thing to get done today. Although, I did get some orders sent out today. Get all that done. Come in here and just shade him up a little bit more on his stomach where all this, these flowers are. Too. I'm a little bit of orange in him. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, looks cuter now. Oh, hi Cherry. It's not a 23 minute project. Melissa doesn't have to be 23. No, it's, I don't even know that I can, you know what, instead of cutting this down, I need to uh, paint another one. It'd be easier. 45. I'm going to have like an hour and a half at least. But at least I'll know what I'm painting. This one I've just designed it while I was painting it. So it takes a while longer. Oh. Do I want to do, remember the three dots? Kind of like in the old days when we painted, we'd put three dots. Do I want three white dots, little clusters of dots on the sky? Or do I want them on the lettering? I think I want them in the sky. I, I just answered my own question. Sorry. I need to kind of... I still got to go around and um, line it with a liner brush. So I'm in it for another good hour at least. That kind of breaks up all that blue. Oh yeah, I like that. All that old stuff's coming back in, so I'm just going to say that those three dots are back. Used to be the way we always filled up our background. I haven't seen it lately, but oh wow. I like it. 
kind of gives it maybe a little daytime stars in the sky or something. Makes it busy anyway. That was one thing I was worried about when I first put that chicken. I was like, oh, he's too little for this. I should have made him bigger, but that's why I added the word to try to fill up the space, and that worked. So. But in a perfect world, I would have had a smaller circle, and he would have looked better. Now, now comes the fun part. Keeping my hand, the foil, everything out of the paint. That's why I usually put my uh, eyes in last because it's hard to do. I like that. I like that a lot. And I kind of want to do stripes on the spring. <laughs> Cherry, they just kind of set it off, don't it? Uh, white flower center. Yeah, I gotta go back over all my centers. And oh, that one. I gotta go over all of them. I can't get that. That one was a little too much on my center. go through, around and do my leaves again. And there's two middles of the flowers. Melissa, did you get over your migraines? I'm going to darken them up a little bit. I don't know what I did to that purple one, but I totally messed that up. Easier if I use the right brush, but I'm going to make myself crazy with all the detail I have to do with those flowers. There's a lot there. some of this paint used up that I've got too much of so they'll be easiest to let this dry and come back tomorrow and let all those dots dry up so I don't get my hand in them and mess it up like usual
finish off the leaves. You can tell, see how those white dots at the end of your, I should have used the new end of my brush because now the paint started coming through there. So I'll have to be redoing that one. These leaves done. And I'm going to call it a night after I get these in. Man, the, as much work as I put in here, this could have been a darn project for my painting for profits group. It would have been a perfect been perfect for that. it up and it'll start looking better with more leaves and filling in all these blank spots. We'll take that right up over that dot and maybe one of them at the fix. He's just so happy. I kind of in, I like him now. I have Melissa to think of that because I had to think outside the box today to figure out what the heck I was going to paint for a spring project. get my Highland Cow finished, I'd be a happy camper. And I paint on my brush. Some of these a little bit lighter. Oops, get all white. Hold on. Oops. I'm going to want a little bit lighter than the others. We just filled it up with a lot of leaves, but it looks fine. I'm happy with it. I was going to put cone flowers in there and more daisies, but I'm good. Call it a day. Those old daisies, I'm going to have to... They're, they're going to be, the daisies are going to be the hardest since they're white. I forgot to leave room for some little whirly things. Some vines 
popping out everywhere. Oh, what the heck? I could have filled it with some of those. Let's go ahead and put some in. Very many in because we don't have a whole lot of room, but now let's see if we can touch inside all of those little brown centers. Like we haven't put enough work in a million flowers. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Diane. Well, this foot is supposed to be going out, and this foot is bent up, but I, I know exactly what you're saying, and I've got, I think once I go in there and shade that, I think I can pull it out of it, but yeah, I noticed that one too. Because on this design, I went and open Porter and Taylor have some coloring books and one of them was a spring one and that chicken is not my design so I stole this design out of a coloring book and I've just kind of made it my own and added my own features to it I usually don't do that but I didn't have time to come up with my I don't know how to paint a chick you guys I am totally ask me to paint a snowman I can paint a Highland cow without, I had to look at a skunk, I have no idea what a skunk body looks like, so that's where the chicken thing came in, but I think if I, actually I may have to pour that in. I'm not going into that green because no way. I found my favorite paint at Walmart the other day. I haven't been able to find um, Apple Barrel Gloss. It's the best to do lining with. It's my favorite. I like getting into Fort Knox to open a bottle of paint anymore. why you don't see me painting dogs or I don't even paint chickens well guys the other day I thought I knew how to paint a rooster but apparently his feathers go backwards instead of frontwards and I should have looked at a picture of a rooster I guess <laughs> oh well it's a cartoon it's a cartoon we're good I can usually get it, but the worst one was make a peace sign with hands. That still haunts me today. I'm trying to figure out how to bend fingers down so they look like a peace sign when I try to paint them. Or you know how, oh shoot, I'm gonna get my hand. In those darn dots, aren't I? My cousin, he, you could tell him to paint an Indian man, and he would look like an Indian man. He's got, I loved it, his one Indian that he did. I still remember that one. It's like, 
how do you picture that in your mind? Because I have to see proportions. I can't just, you know, I'm not used to painting like that. I don't have any concept of proportions. In fact, when we did craft shows, my husband changed, has better portion, proportion than I do. He could, um, he would always be reworking things. cute with and then I always forget it's like the heck I don't even have the chicken what the heck did I do with him huh. it's like do they have them on the side of their nose or do they have them up there on that hump of their nose And we need to put some white feathers up there in his head. I should have some, I don't want them to look like bear claws let's add just a few little lines around here I still wanted to put some cheeks on them, and I forgot that. Perfect, perfect, good. on him too. Ah, he's pretty darn cute now. Two little spots on top of his beak. Thank you. Oops. But they're not white, are they? And the other thing I thought about painting today was a snail. I have no clue what a snail looks like. <laughs> um, I, I do not mix my lining brush with water. That, unless I use a thick paint. That's why I love Apple Barrel because it has a thinner consistency and I can use it right out of the bottle. Now for the white, it's all I poured out with some chalk paint. So I had to mix some white with it, but I love Apple Barrel is my go-to paint for black. I'm not big on their colors, but I had to buy, now this is just regular matte from Americana, but it was all that Hobby Lobby had. But during COVID, when they started running out of paint, I went and bought every bottle I could find of the Apple Barrel gloss. I like it that much, and it's hard to find. 
Hobby Lobby doesn't carry it anymore. So these, I don't want thick lines, I just want some little detail lines around them. They don't even have to be perfect. I love the brush, but I know it's hard for, you know, unless you're painting a lot, it's hard to use, but once you, you know, it's like anything else, you get used to it. And it was a brush, you know, I didn't have any painting lessons, and I don't know how I got it, but when you learn with it, then it's really easy. I'm not used to it's hard for me to use a short one now. Ah, I a little bit. Oh well. Those white flowers look so much better. I am not going to go around every one of these flowers. I'm just going to do the white ones since it's harder to stand out. something over there on it. I just said I wasn't and then I go in and touch something there. Oh, then I figure I don't like it and then cover that up. But I like all the soft stuff. Looks good. I got those two daisies over there, don't I? Whatever they are. I know! Maybe I'll paint Melissa snail tomorrow. Oh, Laura, does she? Aw, thank you. Yeah, I... You just learn how to control them, I think. It, it really has to do with the pressure more than anything that you apply. And then, you know, once you get used to it, like, I, I can tell by the weight of the brush. You know, if I were to do something that I wanted real thin lines, I can tell right now that my brush is too heavy with paint to do that. Maybe I'll do a snail tomorrow. I gotta get four spring projects done for Melissa and it ain't looking good for me over here. It's like I got 20 minutes to do a project and it's not happening right now. I'm pretty happy with it though. That's why I have to have things printed on wood because you know, at craft shows, I could paint fast, like, you know, because 
But I, at craft shows, I did a lot of signs. I painted words more than I did things like this. Because there was no way I'd be able to keep up with shows painting like this. So I was a sign painter. I painted all the sayings and I could do those quickly. yellow and cover that up. It's going to be like he's, I'm going to extend those feet out a little bit more, but for tonight, they're good. Um, oh. yes. I wish my kids are Paisley used to like to paint, but you know, once it's always exciting, like for friends to come over and stuff and paint. But once you do it, you're used to being around it all the time. Kind of the thrill is gone. So she's that one who cares about painting like she did when she was little. Flowers, but I'm gonna have to go in and shade them all a little bit. <laughs> That's my problem. I can't leave them alone. Those darn white dots are now turning. You know what? I'm wondering if it's when you make those dots, if it's since they're all blue, I think it must pull that base coat up. I've always thought it was because the end of my brush was dirty, but they're all blue. So apparently, it pulls that bottom color up. Maybe I've been wrong all these years. Because every one of them are blue. Hmm. Wouldn't that be cute as one big chick on a door hanger? That would be so cute. Make him big. Yeah, somehow I must have ran those three together. Okay, I have to go in and make my ends of my letters look like they fade into the top of his head. So I will go and put some dark blue there, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with the little chick. A bigger project than what I expected tonight. I expected 45 minutes. And it's all Melissa's fault. Thank you, Deborah. Good night, Cherry. I'm done for the night, too. Ooh, Lori. Having wreath attachments made would be cute. Oh, is that what I did, Cindy? Is that where the blue came from? Oh, 
Toby, you still got two of my signs? Uh. Well, Melissa, tomorrow I'll make you a snail. I gotta do it quicker, though. And I won't do all the flowers. The flowers is what takes so long. Oh. The center. Oh, yeah. I, I really think that Miss Cindy sits there and it's a puzzle. It's a Where's Waldo puzzle. I know she makes a game out of it. And thank goodness she does because, you know what? I probably, at this point, I'm so blind to all of it because I've been working on it too long. In fact, I can't go around there. 